Hi students, this is a lab demonstration video for the lab we're going to do this week, making a spectral profile using multispectral imagery. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to earthexplorer.usgs.gov and make a free public account. Now you can use your personal email or your school email, it doesn't matter. But once you've created the account, we can search for imagery and download it. This week, we're going to be working with NAEP imagery. This is from the National Agriculture Imagery Program. So this is a program that was developed in order to have a data set, a continuously updated data set of imagery of agricultural lands throughout the US, right? And so um, it's updated every three to five years. And what it is is it's, it's digital orthophotography and these are cameras that are mounted to fixed wing planes. So they have a really high resolution, right? This is not satellite imagery, but this is actually uh, color and infrared imagery that's captured on a fixed wing plane. Once you've logged in to your USGS Earth Explorer account, you can start to search for imagery. To search for a specific location is quite simple. You can put the feature name in here under US features and select the state of California, and then hit show. And you'll see Tuolumne pop up, you select that. It should drop a pin uh, on the center of Tuolumne County. Now we're going to wanna to look for imagery uh, that covers just the area of Columbia. So you can actually zoom in so that you have the whole town and the college within your map frame and then select use map. And if you zoom out, you'll notice it creates a bounding box of coordinates around that area. From there, we're gonna change this date range that we're searching from January 1st, 2018 to present day, All right? So the 18th. Um, and then once you've selected your bounding box and your date range, we can go to the data sets tab. And from here, you can hit the drop down for aerial imagery and select the box for NAIP, N-A-I-P. Once you have your data set selected, you can hit results. And what we'll see is images pop up or data sets here on the left that are within the date range we selected and within this box. If I hit the footprint, you'll see, oh, there's an image right there at the top. The acquisition date was June 19th, 2020, so pretty recent. So go ahead and download that image. And we're going to uh, select the full resolution.